Sabadikap everyone, welcome to Koh Samui, Thailand or welcome to paradise I should say. It's the end of May 2022, almost June and today I want to show you how is Koh Samui in June 2022. So sit back, relax and enjoy this video. All right guys, our time here in this beautiful pool villa has come to an end. Time to check out and continue for new adventures. Let's go. Very soon we are going to check in here at the Crystal Bay Yacht Club. But first I want to bring you to Chaweng Beach. I want to show you how is Chaweng. International Muay Thai Stadium, Soy Reggae Park, Chao Wang Beach. Introducing Bear Knuckle Fight. So yeah, Chao Wang during the daytime is still pretty quiet, but many things are open as you can see. Most of the shops, 7-Elevens, things are open, but uh, yeah, quiet. Few tourists around as you can see, but uh, pretty quiet. But in the evening for sure it becomes more uh, lively. I will show you soon how it is Chao Wang in nighttime. All right guys, we are in Chaweng now. As you can see, this area is still a little bit uh, devastated. Many things are closed. Here there was a 7-Eleven or Family Mart. And I want to show you the beach. The beautiful beach of Chaweng. Here they are building a new luxury resort in Chaweng. It's called Avani Chaweng Samui Resort. This is a very famous beach club here in Chaweng. It's called Sin Samui. Super popular, beautiful swimming pool right on the beach. See many people, great music, great vibe. Here come. <laughs> and here we are in Chaweng Beach. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. This place is incredible. Look, Chaweng Beach, how beautiful it is. I remember being here a few years ago with my mom and my sister in 2017. Man, and this beach was packed with people, probably thousands of people. You cannot even walk. Like jet ski, parasailing, people walking on the beach. And now it's just spectacular and extremely quiet. You just have paradise for yourself. Bye. All right, guys, so we checked Chaweng Beach. Let's go now to the resort. We're gonna check in, leave our bag. I will show you quickly the room and the resort because it's beautiful and you will be shocked of the price for one night. It's so cheap. And then we'll continue the exploration of Koh Samui. All right, we made it here at Crystal Bay Yacht Club. Let's go and check in. All right, guys, here we are at the Crystal Bay Yacht Club Resort. If you watch my videos, you probably remember that I was in this resort exactly one month ago. But it's very interesting because exactly one month ago, I pay 1,200 baht per night. And I just pay 1,200 baht and the resort is right on the beach. It's just 50 meters from the beach. It's a perfect location. I think it's a great deal. But right now, for tonight, we just pay 660 baht, which is exactly 
half price compared to one month ago. This shows that the hotel market in Samui, it's very, very volatile. That's crazy. Let me give you a quick tour of the room. As you can see, it's very, very spacious. It's like a bungalow. Nice, white, clean, king size bed, painting. Here outside, we have a nice, spacious balcony with two chairs, table. And right in front of us, there is the swimming pool, the restaurant, and the beach. Crystal Bay Beach, which is one of my favorite beaches here in Koh Samui. Here we have our stuff, and it's a bit messy, but you have a big sofa area. And here, very spacious wardrobe area big mirror with Gabby the mirror and also the bathroom is extremely spacious look at this to be honest I'm a bit pissed that exactly one month ago I paid double for the exact same room now I just pay 660 baht but that's impressive you know it's so cheap we are in a beach resort with a private beach with swimming pool with a private bungalow for just 660 baht per night that's crazy man you gotta love Thailand so yeah this is our bungalow right here and right here you have the swimming pool and the beach and the restaurant here amazing Okay, it's about 5.30 p.m. in the afternoon now and here we are in Fisherman Village, one of the most popular area here in Koh Samui amongst Thai people but also foreigners. This place usually during the day is pretty quiet and then becomes lively during the evening. As you can see now, it's still pretty quiet just because it's still early. As you can see here, they are setting up the evening market. So in the next few hours, it's gonna get busier and busier. Of course, it's nothing compared to the pre-pandemic levels, but it's one of the most lively area in Koh Samui. Next, we go to a street food market in Chaweng. We're gonna grab some food. Also here, as you can see, the market is not so busy but there is a lot of delicious food. And then I will bring you to the main road in Chawang Beach to show you how is the evening in Chawang. How is the nightlife? Is it open? Is it closed? I just want to drive you around the main road and show you how is the situation. As you can see, it becomes more lively at nighttime. There are a few bars, few restaurants open. Of course, some of them are still shut down, but there are a few people around, some great bars and restaurants with great music. I can definitely see tourists walking around and having a great time in Chawen Beach. The first half of the road is the one more lively, and then the second half is pretty quiet and there is not much to do. But yeah, slowly Chawen is getting back on his feet, more and more things are opening up, and hopefully by the the next high season Chaweng will come back to life and it will become more and more popular but unfortunately guys I cannot say the same thing for Lamai Beach I was in Lamai in 2017 as I told you but also I lived in Lamai for eight months during the pandemic in 2020 of course during the pandemic was completely dead but man i remember in 2017 it was so lively and so nice lamai and it's just sad to see it right now that it didn't really recover and it's still struggling greatly as you can see Hello guys, another beautiful day in paradise here in Koh Samui. It's sunny, it's beautiful and we are heading now to check out a very popular spot. It's called Overlap Stone. It's one of the main attractions in Samui, one of the main natural attractions because it's actually a big stone with a beautiful view. So I'll bring you there. Okay guys, first step I want to bring you to my favorite cafe Amazon in the entire country of Thailand. When I used to live here in Koh Samui, I came here every single day. Let me show you how beautiful this is. And 
right in front of Amazon there is this famous statue of Guan Yu. So here there is Amazon Cafe and then you just cross the street and you have this beautiful statue of Guan Yu. Look how massive. Guan Yu was a Chinese general and now has been revered as the god of war and has been admired and worshipped for his five moral characteristics which are honesty, loyalty and grateful, constancy, ethical behavior and bravery and courage. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever been here but now let's go to the place that I promise you the Overlap Stone, one of the most amazing places in Samui. All right, we parked the car right here. We have to pay 40 baht to this guy. And then the Overlap Stone should be right here. We have to pay 50 baht to 50 baht each to enter here. Wow, guys, look at this stone, it's massive. Unbelievable. What an incredible view. And all those villas there? Ah, uh -uh, amazing. Wow, guys, what an incredible place. I cannot believe that I lived in Samui for eight months during the pandemic in 2020, and I've never been here. It is actually less than a kilometer from where I used to live. Highly, highly recommended. You have to pay uh, 50 baht each to enter, and then also for the parking you have to pay, but it's worth it, especially if you have an Instagram account, that's a good one. I'll put the location down in the description so you can check it out. Stop in this beautiful uh, viewpoint and cafe. I just ordered a pad krapao, which is the Thai basil with pork, and plus you order a chai thai. Pad krapao with this beautiful view. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. How is Koh Samui in May, almost June 2022? Well, just look at it. It's, it's incredible. It's like paradise on earth. I love Koh Samui so much. The nature is so incredibly beautiful, especially when the sun is shining, the water is blue, the sand is white amazing as i mentioned i lived here for eight months during the pandemic in 2020 and it was completely dead completely dead and now at the end of may almost june i would say it's doing much better most of the things are open now that they also removed the sandbox program the test and go and you can basically enter thailand freely i see many more tourists coming i can definitely feel the difference that is picking up more and more tourists and also this this weather is is helping a lot so yeah if you have the chance visit Koh Samui because it's an incredible island let me know in the comments below what do you think about Koh Samui if you have been here and also what do you think about this video and i'll see you in the next one bye bye